Hi, my name is Alexey Konosevich and you're watching Blockchain State. Let's address some myths about smart contracts and blockchain. From time to time I hear different misconceptions in the law community, in academia, among enthusiasts. Let's talk about a few important things. What is a smart contract? Nick Shabo, an American computer scientist, legal scholar and cryptographer known for his research in digital contracts and digital currency, coined this term in uh, 1997. For sure, there was no blockchain technology at that time. According to Shabo, smart contract means an automated transaction facilitated by a computer machine. In this image, you see a vending machine. This was usually illustrated as one of the classic examples of a smart contract. The machine is programmed to sell you goods in exchange for coins or banknotes that a buyer inserts. No human intermediary, at least directly, is involved in such a transaction. Does Bitcoin have smart contracts? Yes, it does. From the perspective of this definition, blockchain transaction is a smart contract. It is facilitated by a computer, a node, with no involvement of a human intermediary, uh, a blockchain peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Ethereum blockchain also has smart contracts, for sure. And the difference is that Ethereum contracts are so-called Turing complete. What is Turing complete? So if you try to figure out what is being complete by Turing, who was an English legendary mathematician and cryptographer of the 20th century, uh, you will probably be confused. But if we put it simply, Turing complete means a programming language that allows writing any application without limits. Is Bitcoin Turing complete? No, Bitcoin scripts currently do not enable loops. Therefore, they are commonly considered to be not Turing complete. This limits the types of algorithms the Bitcoin scripts can execute to linear or tree-like instructions. However, a famous Australian computer scientist, Dr. Craig Wright, who claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, published a paper in 2018 that presents a concept uh, on how to make Bitcoin blockchain Turing complete. The solution comprises oracles that can run any non-linear scripts such as loops. So far as I know it hasn't been implemented yet, looks like Dr. Wright is busy with some lawsuits all the time. Here's the article if anyone is interested in. Is a smart contract a legal contract? One of those juicy questions that lawyers like to speculate. And I hate myself for even raising this question, but let's put an end to this. Let me put it this way. Is a napkin a legal contract? No or yes? It is an incorrect question. If you write a contract on a napkin, it will become a contract. Even if the medium is not reliable, the paper is very thin, it's still the legal contract, if it has all the elements of the legal contract. Can the smart contract have all the legal elements to become legal? Definitely yes. Does a smart contract need any paper embodiment? The typical conception about the contract is that two or more parties write words on paper which become rights and obligations which these parties have to fulfill by their actions. So the first element is the paper and the second actions. In simple blockchain transaction where parties transfer cryptocurrency, the smart contract is this transaction. The parties may have some preliminary arrangements in written form as well, but it can happen without it. With Ethereum types of smart contract, it's a bit different. For instance, an issuer deploys a smart contract. It also happens within a blockchain cryptocurrency transaction, by the way. If you haven't seen the video where I explained 
why cryptocurrency is a crucial element of the blockchain you will find it in the description below once the tokens are created by deploying the smart contract they can be traded or other program logic will be applied according to this smart contract so what is important here is that the smart contract cannot have nothing inside there must be something that this smart contract operates with and by convention it is called a token in the blockchain industry it is a type of database record normally the smart contract combines all at once it is a commitment and an action in which the object the token is transferred from one address to another this is the fundamental difference from our conventional perception of a contract where the written document is distinguished from the party's actions the smart contract may have a paper pre-arrangement but it's it's not necessary if the contract the program is properly designed you won't need any off-chain legal actions and finally the most widespread legal concern is about the immutability of blockchain smart contracts if legal circumstances change and something goes wrong there is no way to fix it retroactively some people think so this misconception is addressed in this video but in a nutshell the smart contract can be poorly designed and it can cause unwanted effects on its bodies like a paper contract as well it can be poorly composed but a well designed smart contract should accommodate new transactions that change the current state of affairs and hence address sudden legal complications and how to design it I explained in the mentioned video that's it for today don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, also choose the bell icon if you don't want to miss new videos see you soon